It's Jason Abraham, the shadow teacher. And I'm going to continue my series on connecting with elemental consciousness. And today, very special crystal, this piece of Kambaba Jasper, also known as Crocodile Rock. Let you see it up close there. And when I found this in the crystal shop, I was originally going with the intent of finding a, a turquoise crystal. As I was inspired by David Icke, and the David Icke color is, is turquoise. So I was called that day to seek out a turquoise crystal. But there were none to be found, and what called to be instead was this guy, this crocodile rock, and something again, like I felt like a magnetic pull to this crystal. When I touched it, it said, yes, I want to go with you. And so when I checked it out, like even the the clerk there was was pretty excited. They said, "Oh wow, someone's going for the crocodile rock." So there was very something very special about this crystal. And as you can see, the crystal is is green. So there's a connection. Some say like with 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 nature, with the earth. Some say the green also. There's a connection with the heart, the the heart chakra, the heart energy. And uh, I, on, on the little description of the crystal, it says that, that this crystal has a connection with, with humor and laughter. And again, the spirit of the coyote, which has been a spirit that's, that's been a companion to me of recent, connected with this. And so I got it. And, and, and again, uh, th this one, I, I really felt a, a special pull with it, very special magnetic quality, a little tingling. And at some point, I'd gotten to place, I, I, I'd, I'd amassed a little bit of a collection of crystals, and I would take some time going out in the sun, sitting on my back porch, holding them, meditating with them, and then, but I'd kind of gotten to the point where I was getting sloppy with the transitions in my life, running from, from one thing to the next, as many of us do. And I would take a crystal, then I would just kind of sloppily put it, I had a place for them, but I, I really wasn't paying much attention to the feng shui. I would just sloppily put it down and then run off to the next thing I'm doing. As, as I tend to do. And then one day I was filming a video with this crystal and I, I, I was trying to get this video done before I started my work day, before I started working with clients. And I, I got the video, but my time was cut short. So I, I thought that I put the crystal back in the proper place but as I found out later when I was looking for the crystal I didn't I was like oh shit I lost another one and, and this one I, I really did not want to lose and so they say when you lose a crystal it's meant for someone else to find like like is what happened with my shungite it's meant for someone else to be able to connect with the energy and and the healing that it provides so I had a feeling that again I was going to be able to, to find this crystal so one day where I, where I where I didn't have any structured time I just sat in silence and 
I was led to start cleaning up my room. I was led, something just motivated me to start organizing a space that had gotten cluttered in my house. And as I was doing that, sure enough, I found the crystal again. It called out to me. And again, I, I, I want to add that I intentionally was reaching out to the spirit of this crystal before I started cleaning. I just sat still and was using the same process I do with remote viewing. And I was just focusing on this crystal. And then the next thing you knew, I was led to start cleaning up this one space that I never would have left this crystal. Because when I, when I was looking for it, I looked every place I, nor, I, I would have thought I would have left it. And sure enough, I moved some clothes around on my bed and underneath it was this crystal and it called back to me. And this one wanted to stay with me. It wanted, for, it wanted me to find it and stay and the lesson there was the important of or the importance of organizing our spaces, the importance of allowing some space as well between our activities, really trying to be intentional about allowing enough space and time for our activities to have the justice and, and, and the presence of us that they require and allowing space to, to reset our environment, which is, which is a lesson that's very important for me in particular. So I started with my crystals. I, and from now on, I, I have a special place and I make sure I, I always take those crystals back to that special place when I use them. They, I never leave them anywhere else and I'm extra mindful about that. And again, there are many other areas in my life where I need to extend this lesson to, but it's a lesson that this crocodile rock taught me. And that was sort of the promise. It says, you know, I'm going to be with you as long as you heed that lesson. If you, but if you, if you go back to your old ways and your sloppiness, then I might have to go to someone else because you're not listening. So anyway, that's, that being said, that's my, my connection to the crocodile rock, this piece of Kambala Jasper. And I did find a David Icke crystal, and I'll probably share that with you in a future video. But that being said, class dismissed. I'll see you on the other side.